Hey, I'm Pleasant. Good evening, everybody. This is Sports Guy News. I'm Bill Burke, and this is going to be on the latest Major League signing that got in on the docket by the Baltimore Orioles. Been to Camden Yards a bunch of times. Well, not a bunch of times, a couple of times, I should say, but a beautiful stadium. Love the bacon on a stick snack there, and beautiful food there all around. Beautiful stadium. A design that the structure that a bunch of other stadiums ended up copying. But let's get into Jordan Lyles, who ended up being the last Major League signing, and is now with the Baltimore Orioles organization. Um, Jordan Lyles, the only pitch he really has great spin on is his curve. Uh, his fastball velocity is average. It's 93 miles per hour, 83 mile per hour slider, 80 mile per hour curve, 86 mile per hour changeup, and 86 mile per hour cutter. Uh, he's a guy that keeps getting contracts, even though he's been, for most of his career, unimpressive. He's one of those guys you would potentially think about maybe just moving to the pen like Kendall Graveman was moved to the pen successfully. But it hasn't happened yet. We'll see if the Orioles do end up doing that and move Jordan Lyles to the pen or try to get him to rekindle what he did in Milwaukee in 2019, which was 7-1 and with a 2.19 ERA. Because obviously the Orioles aren't a team that's in the winning position anytime soon. So they're still going just to bring in guys that are veterans that can kind of show guys the scratch and claw mentality um, as they come up through the system and just be good guys to have around in the locker room. And Lyles is a guy that is still, even though he's been around for a while, proving that he can do it because he's been terrible the last two seasons in 20 and 21 uh, with the Texas Rangers. So he's trying to bounce back this season, gets to go to a team with no pressure in Baltimore. And he's a guy that only has the great curveball when it comes to spin. Now it's about if he can figure it out and pitch. He's never going to pitch to the degree, I think, that he pitched in Milwaukee. But if he can pitch even to the 12 and 8 um, overall total with a 4.15 ERA that he had in that season um, combined between Milwaukee um, that season and the Pittsburgh Pirates, then he would be set even doing that. He would be a very good four starter. So this has just been a quick video on Jordan Lyles being the last guy in on the docket at the end of signing uh, before the MLB lockout came in. A solid small pickup I would rank it as. Yeah, they paid him a little bit, but he just keeps getting paid because he's one of those guys that you think there's always more there. And it's just about figuring out if they're the team at the age of 31 that can get it locked in with him. At the age of 29, he was very good, obviously, during his time in Milwaukee and just all right during his time in Pittsburgh. But if he can pitch to a 4.15, 12-9-ish record, something like that, well, it'll probably be more like a 9 a flipped record with the Baltimore because you're not going to get a lot of wins. But pitch to the 4.15 be solid. That's something to build on, and he'll be out on the market. He'll probably be a guy in the trade deadline if that's the case, just like he was a guy that pitched well enough to be on the trade deadline for Milwaukee to grab that season, and then he went off beyond expected. So we'll see what he's able to do in Baltimore, but this has been a quick video on Jordan Lyles, one of the Baltimore Orioles, as the latest signing before the free agency ended, the major league free agency, that is, there's been some minor league signings and international signing. The major league free agency ended before the lockout. He said, everybody, stay safe and have a great offseason. Hopefully this lockout ends soon.